Greetings to the city elders of the Tulsa metropolitan area across the state of Oklahoma and beyond. I greet you today in the name which is above every other name, the name of the lovely, matchless Lord Jesus Christ. I've got great word for you today and two very important announcements. I'm going to be brief today. I hope you enjoyed a great Christmas yesterday. Uh, today, the day after Christmas, much of our family's coming in from across the states, and we're looking for a great time today as well. But I want to bless you and and say to you that we're praying for you to have the greatest new year and the most productive 2024 that you've ever had. Before we get into that, I want to say something about this Christmas story. I know you've heard messages all month long, but I just want to talk to you for just a moment about, I just said, having a wonderful Christmas. And the emphasis being on wonder. Think about this for just a moment. Just a couple of quick scenarios. Number one, Mary wondered at the words of the angel. And then Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost upon Mary's salutation. And then Elizabeth began to prophesy over her the word of the Lord. The shepherds coming on the night of his birth. The Magi coming two years later, approximately, bringing gold and frankincense and myrrh. Persian politicians, government officials, wealthy men from a foreign country bringing their gifts and laying them at the feet of the Savior and worshiping the Son of God. And then the prophecy and the sermon by Simeon and Anna who were in the temple at the day of Christ's dedication. So many things surrounding the birth, the angelic visitation, the heavens filling with angels saying glory to God in the highest on earth peace and goodwill toward men. Well, Isaiah prophesied that in chapter 9 verse 6. He said, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his singular shoulder. And the reason the government's on one shoulder is because the church is on the other. The, the two arms of God is extended authority in the earth. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. Now, I've had Hebrew scholars to say that that's hyphenated. It's one word. It means supernatural counselor. A counselor with infinite wisdom, unlimited knowledge. You see, the wisdom of God is has seven pillars. Knowledge and understanding are the two outer pillars. The central pillar is judgment. Of the seven pillars, knowledge and understanding, what you know and being able to frame and contextualize that, those are the two outer pillars of the wisdom of God. And central pillar again, judgment. Being able to make wise decisions. That's central to the wisdom of God. Well, he's a wonderful counselor, supernatural insight, wisdom. He has the answer to your situation, to your problem, your dilemma, your future, your destiny. God has that knowledge, that wisdom, and he wants to share it with you through his word and through the revelation of the Holy Spirit. Well, I just wanted to share that the wonder of wonders that God became man. This coming year, I believe is going to be your most productive year. I know it's going to be City Elder's most productive year. And we're going to be looking in this Thursday, December the 28th. I'm going to be sharing with you from one of the most talented authors, sold millions and millions of books. His name is Mark Batterson. He's the pastor of the Capitol Church in Washington, D.C., and he wrote a book called Win the Day that has some of the greatest principles for high achievement, sustaining high productivity, reaching your goals, and your destiny. And that's what I'm most concerned about. 
us fulfilling our prophetic purpose. And I'm going to be talking about that this Thursday, the 28th. You're not going to want to miss. It's going to be a great day for setting the course, the trajectory for 2024. I hope you, like me, want it to be your most productive year and believe it will be. And this 28th, this Thursday at the Tulsa Marriott, I'm going to be sharing the principles from that incredible book. I've read several of his books. I think this is his best one. It's called Win the Day. And so sustaining high productivity, reaching your goals, fulfilling your prophetic destiny this Thursday, 8.30 a.m. at the Tulsa Marriott. Now, this is our last Thursday at the Marriott. January 4 and 11, we're going to be at the Cityplex. Now, we'll have ushers and greeters there, but you want to be park on the east side of the building. That's the tall tower side. Park on the east side, and then you just step right into the facility with a short distance there, so it'll be most convenient for you. So that's the 4th and the 11th at Cityplex, but this Thursday, our last meeting at the Marriott. Now here's our last announcement, and it's an important one. <clears throat> the 18th of January, which is the third Thursday, very unusual, but we had to accommodate his schedule, we're hosting again Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt. Now, this banquet's going to be a little bit different because we're going to tap into the wisdom and knowledge and experience and the worldview, values, philosophy of work, ethic of Governor Stitt because he's one of the most successful businessmen in our nation. And before he leaves office, we want to have him emphasize to us how he took in the year 2000, $1,000 and a computer and turned it into a $20 billion business called Gateway Mortgage. Then he merged Gateway Mortgage. He did a merger with, with a bank, now Gateway Bank, Gateway First, one of Oklahoma's largest banks now, two billion in assets, 16, I'm uh, sorry, yeah, 1,600 employees and 166 mortgage centers. So we're going to be having him address us on this issue of the work ethic, the business acumen, the skill set, the, the values and the worldview. We want to get into the mind and understanding of how this successful businessman, of course, becoming governor and doing a good job as governor, but we want to tap into the business side of that mind and have him share with us and questions and answers. I want you to invite businessmen, business owners, investors, leaders in the business sector. We want them to come January the 18th. So when you're inviting people, invite business owners, administrators, leaders, managers, people that are in the business sector. We want them to be there. We believe that this will have an impact upon their lives and we believe it's gonna be a great meeting. Now, you need to register as soon as possible. This banquet will be at Stony Creek Convention Center and Hotel in Broken Arrow. Okay, now uh, it's going to be a great meal. It's going to be a banquet meal, and we were able to bring the price down. We typically, when we have the governor, it's typically $49. We brought it down to $39, and it's going to be a great banquet again with great selection. It will be buffet style. This last buffet we had was just incredible. Delicious, like a home-cooked meal with desserts and sides. It was just amazing. And so this is going to be a great banquet Great speaker, start the year off right with setting your trajectory, honing your your dial for destiny, and 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 you're not going to want to miss it. So get registered as soon as possible. Love you. It's going to be a great year, and I I not only wished you a merry Christmas, I'm praying for you to have the most productive and blessed New Year that you've ever had. Hope to see you this Thursday, Tulsa Marriott. 8.30 a.m. Love you. Bye. Join the movement. Change the world. CityElders.com